again, king of the throne. All right, back to the action. Alex Gomez, this time's got two tens. So he picks up a nice hand here. Yeah, made it 250,000. Justin out. But the young man from Orange County, Alec Torelli, has ace queen. Well, he's going to raise it. He makes it 710,000 to go. Toilet goes away. What's your total? You guys started with 3.8. Man, it's not going to surprise me if they both get their chips in with these hands. Molding. Wow, he's gone all in, and he gets a quick hole. Well, these are two big hands in a four-handed poker game. Wow. Yes. Almost every time you've got one of these two hands, your money's going in the pot. It's done so here, and Alec Torelli's tournament Ooh. life on the line. He must win this pot, or he's going to be out in fourth place. God, it's like a seven hundred thousand dollar flip. I'm so tilted. Alec, a little bad news for you. It's really like a nine hundred thousand dollar coin flip. He's right, bro. What and time what it? a classic race situation we've got here. Remember, the guy that goes out in fourth place is going to get only 270000 The winner gets $1.2 yeah, So nearly a million-dollar coin flip right here, perhaps in real money events. High drama at Bellagio right now. Everybody on their feet. Alec, a sigh of disappointment. Can he get lucky on this flop? Here it comes. Well, the flop comes. Jack 8-6 with two clubs. So far, so good for the Brazilian. He's still out in front. Now, that means I like that flop in Portuguese. <laughs> well, he should like it. He's still out in front. He's got to dodge an ace or a queen, two running clubs, or two running cards to make it straight. The king of clubs comes off. Wow, I'm swaying. Oh, clock thickens. Well, Alex Hurley all smiles now because he knows he has a club flush draw. He can win with any club. He can win with a 10. He can win with an ace. He can win with a queen. $700,000 river. In other words, he's got a lot of outs to win this pot. <laughs> Gives me a juice of heart. Everybody holding their breath. It is all on the line here. Well, this could be a million dollar river card right here. <laughs> Alec is chanting with his friends. The Orange County kid needs to get lucky. Will he? No, the seven of diamonds comes up. The Brazilian takes down the pot and now has a big chip lead with three players left. Still love you. I hope you take it down. Vince, they can hear that howling all the way down in Brazil. That's the Brazilian bull cry. He has done it. And that means I am a very happy Brazilian. <laughs> Alec Torelli right now out in fourth place. Going to take home 271000 And here he is. The favorite interview. God, I wanted to win so bad so I didn't have to do this. But, I mean, it's a pretty unfortunate setup spot, and there's not really much I could do. You know, he played his hand pretty optimally as well. And just, you know, you can't win them all. If I win that, you know, it's a different outcome. But whatever. Next time. Three players remain on the World Poker Tour at Bellagio. We'll come back with more action in just a few moments. Everybody knows who I am. Everybody knows I play really big cash games. I think they're a little bit... Um, nervous to play against me. I'm not trying to be cocky, but I'm just saying. They know that I play really big, so they probably don't think I'm nervous at all. And then they may be nervous, and they probably think I'm way better than I am. We are back here at Bellagio on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back. Three players going after close to 1.2 million here tonight. I agree with Justin there. Anybody that plays back there in Bobby's room here at Bellagio where you can win or lose a million or more in a day, especially if a guy's 21, you better have respect for him. And I'm sure they have very much respect for Justin at this table. Let's go to the felt. Action on our chip leader, Alex Gomez, the former lawyer out of Brazil. He's got 8.4 million and a pair of threes. He's going to move it up to 250,000 to go. Now it's over to Justin. He's on the short stack here. Only got about a million and a half here. We'll try to make something happen. Looks like he's going to do it here, Vince. He is going all in here with just an ace three. Very cool. He certainly is. Browns gets out, and the Brazilian Ooh. is very happy because he's going all in. He's made the call here of Justin's all in bet. I see one coming. Oh, the Brazilian bull cry lives again. I see one coming. Well, he's up against about the best hand he could be up against, other than the pair of deuces, is an ace three here. Come on, man. Alex's wife. Saying her prayers. I have life, life suits, too. There's the cards, Lili. Almost a three to one favorite to win the pot. Well, now the flop comes Jack, four, four. Jack, Jack, Jack. Justin understands if the board pairs Jacks, he'll have the best he's hand with Jackson he's Fords he's with the ace kicker. Yep, he's got some hope now. More outs on the turn. He said the turn card to give him more outs. I got it. Turn card. Jack. Turn card coming up. 
Will Justin get lucky? The turn card is a five, so this definitely gives him more outs. Not only the board could pair fives, but a deuce would give him a wheel of five high straight. So right now, he can't, he can't fade it again. Justin Smith needs an ace, a jack, a five, or a deuce. All those cards will do it for him. Anything else, and he'll be out in third place. Okay. You know that, right? And Justin trying to talk himself into winning this hand. Here we go with the river. Can he go with the jack? He's done it. He has done it. He has outdrawn the Brazilian on the river to stay alive in this tournament. Let's see him beat And I'll tell you, for a guy that's always calm, cool, and collected, even Justin Smith is going crazy about trying to win a WPT title. Now, Alex's wife was just told that her husband lost the hand. <laughs> now, Mike Mattis out here. Obviously rooting Justin on, relishing in this moment. What started as a very quiet WPT? Yeah. <laughs> It's now a little louder. Yeah, Justin hit the nail in the head there. One million five. Now wait, look at this. Madison's calling him over. You have big chips. You don't need to be shipping. I know. I, I, I had 14 big ones. So I was like, huge chips. He has big chips now, and don't ship it. Don't get too aggressive, he's saying. Nice hand, bro. Thanks. Great coach Mike Madison right there. I like, I feel that energy. I'm not sure about the big chips. He's still in third place at this table here. I mean, still, when you right. double up, you are feeling good because you're still alive. Good suck out there. Let's go to the table. Back on Justin with the button. And King Jack. Well, that's a good hand in a three-handed poker game as well. Let's see what Justin's going to do with it. He's just going to limp in and call here on the button. Something we haven't seen yet out of him. Faraz Jaka out. And now Alex Gomez has a pair of eights here at Snowman. Now Vince, I'll be very surprised if he didn't make a move here with two eights. What you got? Three. I should have started with about 3.2. He's probably wondering, wow, Justin hasn't limped in yet. Is he trying to trap me with a big hand? And he's going to find out because he is going to raise it. He's going to make it 575,000 to go. He wants to get paid off here a little bit. He's got a pretty decent hand, pair of eights. Now look at this. You know, if you've ever seen Phil Ivey play poker, he's got those eyes, that laser look. Justin plays with him all the time. He's trying to develop Phil Ivey's eyes. You can tell it. Look at the way he shoots him over there at his opponent. Justin, don't forget what Mike Mattis had told you. Don't get crazy. You've got some chips. Come on. Oh, he's getting crazy. Very cool. Well, so much for Mattis out advice. He's gone all in. Oh, again, another situation. Just a moment ago, we saw Alec Carelli get eliminated with the two over cards. All right. I got it. I got it. Can't. We've got the same exact scenario this time. Justin Smith has the two over cards. If he loses the race, he'll be out in third place. Now, what does that mean? What a key feeder. I got news for you, Vince. If you live in Ohio, if I double up this, it's that starts out O H I O. That's what they do in Buckeye Land. Over after you win this spot, buddy. I think they were in a Brazilian ballet at one point. <laughs> but now they've gone to poker. Let's see what happens. Here's our flop. Now yeah, flop comes a seven three. Bear the board. Bear the board. So far, so good for the Brazilian. Right now, he's just got to dodge a king or a jack. Or two running cards to make a straight. Well, a queen comes off. This gives Justin four more outs. A 10 would now give him an ace high straight in the victory. So Justin Smith must catch a king, a jack, or a 10, any other card, and the Brazilian will eliminate yet another player. Alex knows he can do it if it just pairs the board. Can he escape? Oh, it's a 10. Back to back double ups by Justin Smith, drawn out both times, man, to stay alive. And look how excited he is, his fans, his friends. Wait a minute, Vince. Something's wrong out there. We'll operate it on it tomorrow with the million. Yeah, there's something very wrong. He's doubled over. He's uh, he's really in pain. Yeah, it snapped. What the? This is no bluff, let me tell you. Poker injury. I told you this, I told you this is an uh, injury sport. <sighs> Okay. They say that poker is not a sport, but this is like. Well, this is pretty serious. People are rushing to Justin's side. I'm really hoping it'll be okay. I'm, 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 I mean, I'm able to play. I'll, I'll play it out. Tournament officials have stopped the clock. We're going to find out what's going on, and we'll be right back right after this. I want to get some ice. I just snapped my ACL. Do you want to elevate the leg? Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. 
where Justin Smith's excitement in winning that last hand has taken an unfortunate turn. Very, very bizarre, Mike. Justin, very excited about it, jumps up, hurts his knee. It looks like a torn ACL, and that's a very painful injury, but it's not going to stop him. He has his leg up. He's on ice. Anything can happen. Well, the irony here, Vance, is that Justin tore both his ACLs on a motorcycle accident, and while recovering from that injury, it's where he learned how to play poker. Well, that's very interesting, but you know, who said poker is not a physical sport? We are seeing it here for the first First time on the World Poker Tour. He's got the ice going. Will he take the title? Well, he's got the chip lead right now with about six million in chips. The other two players have over five million in chips. So we've got a real horse race right now, folks. Yes, we do. Cards being dealt. Action on Faraz Jaka. He's got the button and he's the first one to act. And he's going to stare down at a wired pair of tens. Powerful hand in a three handed poker game. He picks up two tens. He is going to raise 60, it, right? makes it 260,000 to go. Alex Gomez, now with King Jack, is going to re-raise. Well, once again, we could see a race situation for all the chips here. But no, Faraz just makes the call here. With about Does not re-raise with the two tens. Very surprised at that. Even. Let's see what happens. Oh, the flop comes the slot machine. Three sevens out there. And right now, Faraz has got a full house, but Alex is the one doing the betting. Yep, it looks like $900,000 worth. And Faraz just going to smooth call. Well, pretty dangerous to give a guy a free card in this spot with two overcards, but a 10 comes off. Oh, the danger disappears. Well, Faraz now heads tens full of sevens. Only four sevens will beat him. The Brazilian slows down. He does check this time. How much behind right now about? Almost three, maybe 3.2. Well, Faraz is hoping the guy's got an over pair now or any kind of pair, or he would call a bet if he makes one. 900. On the other hand, his hand's so strong he might not want to bet, but he does bet 900,000. And the Brazilian wisely and quickly goes out. Yep, no contemplation there. He knew he was beat. He ran away from that hand. And right now, the Andes are going up to 15,000. Blinds are going to go up to 60 and 120,000. Cards being thrown around. And Alex Gomez, first to act here. He won't play this 10 6. And now, Justin Smith. You know, Vance, you know, they have doctors right at ringside in the boxing matches. We may have to start putting them near the poker tables at these final tables here. Justin Smith. With a serious knee injury. Uh, he's got queen seven. He's just calling and no raise by Faraz Jaka with a six. Here comes the flop. It's come 10, 8, 4. No help to either player, but Justin is going to bet 180 grand. Now look at this. Faraz with just an ace high. He's going to make the call here. I think he's making this call. He believes ace high is the best hand. Now a six comes off. Now he's got two sixes. Of course, Justin now has a two-way straight draw. A five or a nine would give him a straight. Action's on Justin. And he's getting out more betting chips, 390. And he is called by Faraz, who's got the best hand with two sixes. What nine comes on the river, giving Justin Smith a straight and Vance incredibly. For the third consecutive hand, Justin River Card Smith has hit a river card to win a pot. And let's see what he bets. 470000 and a quick fold by the toilet. Faraz Jaka wants no part of it. And just amazing instinct by Faraz there. He called him on the flop in the turn when he had the best hand. And when he got out drawn, he laid his hand down. The orthoscopic kid extends his chip lead. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Play at the top of your game. Text Pro Tip to 46966 to get a poker tip from the WPT pros and enter to win $1,000 in a WPT prize pack. We are back at Bellagio in Las Vegas for the World Poker Tour. Three-handed poker continues. And Vince, we are seeing it all tonight. We're seeing great play. We're seeing a lot of suck outs on the river. And we're also seeing injuries for the first time at a WPT final table. Yep, Justin Smith, ice pack on his knee. He's in trouble, but this time he's picked up ace queen. Well, that's a huge hand in a three-handed poker game. Justin Smith going to play through the pain. 
I don't believe he's got any intention of going home yet, Vince, when there's a million dollars to be planned for here. Well, you know what they say in sports, no pain, no million dollars. Ferraz quickly out. Alex Gomez has picked up big slick. He's got ace king. He has Justin Smith dominated right now. They've both got really quality hands, the kind of hands you just can't avoid when it costs you 225000 to play three hands of poker right now. Blinds are so high. Alex has moved it up to 725. There you see Justin.